Ceramic Tiles Market Estimation. Imagine that during the interview you were asked to estimate the market for ceramic tiles and you would have to do it in five minutes with pen and paper. Before you proceed with the case, you should ask yourself four questions. So first of all, what is meant here by the market? So is it annual sales or total ownership? Then what is included in the market? So is it like B2C or also B2B? Obviously, do we estimate the market in volumes or in values? And last but not least, what are we actually including in the market? Is it just ceramic tiles or other connected with the ceramic tiles products like adhesives? Now, for simplicity, in the case, just assume that you should do it by segments. So first of all, we've got the B2C market connected with renovations. So somebody has already apartment for some years and he decides to basically change the tiles. This happens every, let's say, seven years in Poland and like three and a half years in Italy. Then you've got the B2C market connected with the new buildings. So you buy a brand new a building, apartment, and then there there is nothing. So it's not about renovation. It's just putting new things. And B2B market. So all the buildings like libraries, banks, etc. So now spend five minutes on solving this case. Try to find the drivers and estimate the value of the market, the volumes and ownership by those three segments. And once you are done, go to the next lecture and check the solution. Let's start with solving the case. I hope you manage to solve it on your own, but please check the solution. So we start with the B2C renovation market segment. And here the driver obviously are the number of families because they have some sort of apartments. So we assume a number of apartments per family. And out of this, we get the total number of apartments they have the family. So the B2C renovation market. Now, in order to get into ceramic tiles, we basically have to assume some sort of an average number of square meters of tiles per apartment. And this will give us the ceramic tiles, which are installed in the apartments owned by the families. But this again, it's ownership. So it's not sales, it's how many tiles there are on the walls. And out of this, obviously, again, assuming the number of years that are used, the, the tiles, we can get the uh, annual sales of those tiles, obviously, for the new B2C market. So this, again, is sales, but in square meters. If we want to get into values, we have to obviously assume some average price per square meter. So this is here and we get the value in dollars of the market. Again, when we are talking about the families, we can either have the number or estimate it on the basis of the total population and the average size of the family. So this is B2C renovation market. For the B2C new apartments market, we have to basically use different drivers. So here the driver is actually the number of new apartments and this is actually available data publicly so you can very easily get it. And then we have to again assume some average size of the apartment and what percentage of the surface is covered with the ceramic tiles. This gives us the number of square meters of tiles sold for the new B2C, so the total ones. And again, if you want to get to value, so expressed the size of the market in dollars, we get here the average price and we get the, the value. We don't use here the years of usage of the tiles because we obviously have a new apartment, so we don't exchange. We just have a new apartment which has to have tiles. So we just have to know how many average square meters it has and what percentage of the surface is covered with ceramic tiles. In exactly the same way, we would be estimating the B2B market. The only difference is that here we actually should go segment by segment. So B2B market will differ a lot. So you have a different number of ceramic tiles on a stadium and you have a different in a library. So here actually we have a category A buildings built every year. And then again, average size of the buildings in square meters, how many percentage of the surface is covered by ceramic tiles. Out of this, we get the total number of square meters of tiles. We multiply by price and we get the value of ceramic tiles, but for category A. So we do it for all the categories. And at the very end, we have to add up all the segments. So we've got the category from category A to category Z B2B market, then the B2C new market and B2C renovation market. So out of this, we get the total size of the market in let's say square meters. If you wanted to do it in values, you would have to add the values of each and every segment. So this is the solution. Check it with yours and see what kind of mistakes you had done.